In this video, we're going to create the control arm. I can see that it has a 20 millimeter width or diameter on the bosses on each end with a 10 millimeter hole. Uh, it has a boss thickness of 9 and the connecting arm itself is 5 millimeters thick, uh, similar to our swing arm. I'm going to start with a sketch, and I need this to be on a sketch plane uh, that's above this top surface of the actuator, uh, half of the thickness of the control arm. So this is going to be offset. I clicked on the top of this, of the actuator, to create this plane. I want to be offset half the thickness of the control arm, which is going to be 4.5. And I've created this new plane. And I can see it over here in my feature list. And it lights up, and I can see that it's above that surface. So we'll start a new sketch. We want to be on our new plane. I'm going to right click and view normal to the sketch plane. And I want to project or use some of my existing geometry to create relationships. So I'll click on use. I want the center of the hole on the swing arm and the outside of this boss. And I want the hole in the actuator so that I can use that in this sketch. Now I'm going to draw a line. This will be a construction line from the center of the hole in the swing arm to the center of the hole in the actuator to set this distance. And under offset I have my slot tool. I can click on that center line. Um, and this will create by default a 20 uh, millimeter diameter uh, part. And I'm going to hit return or enter on the keyboard to accept that. Now we have the boss, the circle for the boss here, but I need to create a circle uh, using the center point here and tangent to the edge for the boss on the other side. So I'll accept this sketch and choose extrude. Now this is going to be a new part. I'm going to use these ends, everything except the holes, I want those to be open. This is going to have this is going to be the center part of the arm, so it's five millimeters in thickness, and it should extrude symmetric above and below that sketch plane. With that, I can see I've created part five down here, and I'll accept it. Now there's one more extrude to make the bosses on the end. This is going to be added, and my merge scope is going to be with part 5. I need to uh, choose the regions, but I need to reuse this sketch, so I'm going to turn the visibility of the sketch on and turn the part visibility off so I can see the sketch and just choose these ends that would represent the bosses. These are going to be symmetric above and below and the arm has a total thickness of 9 millimeters. With that done, I'm going to accept it and then turn the visibility back on and I can see that control arm has been created and it sits sitting in the proper location. 